pledge of allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Hawks. My name is Adrian. I hope you guys had a good weekend. And I'm Ian, and welcome to the Hill Morning News. This is Mr. Flores, one of your guidance counselors. Just want to give you some information about what's going on right now. Counselors are currently meeting with freshmen to choose courses for next school year. Also, summer school forms will be available on your Google Classroom for your specific class. And don't forget, midterms are this week, so study hard and do your best. Spring break is right around the corner. Lastly, thank you all for participating in Self-Kindness Week last week. And I'll leave you with a quote from Anna Taylor. Love yourself enough to set boundaries. Your time and energy are precious. You get to choose how you use it. You teach people how to treat you by deciding what you will and won't accept. Have a great week. Good morning, Citrus Hawks, and happy Monday. Mr. Johnson here uh, to share a story about my life and what uh, March of Dimes means to me and my family. Um, long ago, uh, I lost a daughter at birth. It was a really terrible day. Um, we were so excited that she was going to be born into this world and unfortunately she had a breathing problem at birth and uh, she passed away and the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life was tell my wife that our child had passed away as she woke up from surgery. And could it have been avoided maybe? Um, you know, more training for the doctor, maybe more uh, medicine practices, you know, something different that could have maybe changed that day so she'd still be here with us. Um, I think back to that day and she would be almost 22 years old now. And that was a tough day. But what can we do about it? You know, um, you can donate to a wonderful cause called the March of Dimes. They're all about the babies. They help with prenatal care. And also if there's any troubled pregnancies or anything like that, they're a wonderful organization. It's well worth your money. Um, if you have any questions about that, you know, come see me. But again, keep doing the great things you do out there. I really love the school and how you reach out to your community and how you always give back. So be generous and put money in those jars for the principals because we want to see which one dyes their hair purple. And I've even thrown my name in that if you raise over $3,000 for March of Dimes, I'll dye my hair purple for the rally as well. It's gonna be scary. I think I'm gonna look like a big Oompa Loompa, but bring it on. I love it. So donate that money, make a difference, and have a fabulous day. Hi guys, I'm Alain. And I'm Desiree. Make sure you guys come out during lunch with water to donate to one of the jars for March of Dimes. And for one of our four admins to get their hair dyed. Thank you guys. Junko Tabei was a Japanese mountaineer, author, and teacher. She was the first woman to reach the summit of Mount Everest and the first woman to ascend the seven summits, climbing the highest peak on every continent. What's good, Hawks? Aldo here with a new game to talk about. <clears throat> this time around, we'll be turning our eyes to an older game, Shin Megami Tensei 4. This game is a post-apocalyptic role-playing video game developed by Atwood. The game is reminiscent of previous Shin Megami Tensei games carrying over the turn-based system where players fight and exploit enemies' weaknesses and recruit them to form part of their team. The story focuses on Flynn, a samurai who protects the medieval kingdom of Mikado from attack by hostile demons. When a mysterious black samurai begins transforming the population of the kingdom into demons, Flynn and three companions are set to capture her. This game offers different endings depending on the different choices you take to get to that ending. And overall, it's actually a pretty enjoyable game with a pretty good story. And that's all I have for you all guys today. I'll catch you in the next one. See you. I'm Alejandra. I'm Merlene. And we wanted to let you know that the Citrus Hill Dance Team will be having tryouts for next year's team. Tryouts will be from April 5th to April 7th from 4 to 5, I mean 4 to 6 p.m. The tryouts will be held in room 810. Please be sure to follow our Instagram at Citrus Hill Dance or stop by Coach Evans' office or Coach Raymond's room in room 504 for any questions and any more updates. We'll see you there. Bye, Bye Hawks. Good morning, Hawks. This is Madison. I'm here with... Juan Sanchez. And we're your video directors. We just have one announcement to make. If you guys will be staying to any school events, make sure you guys send your pictures and videos to our Instagram. At Hawks Studio News. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. This has been all we have for you guys today. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm Ian. 
And I'm Adrian, and thank you guys for watching.